welcome back to The Daily Dave. Happy to be here with you yet again on the podcast. And, you know, when we podcast, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of time alone in front of the microphone. And it's just a lot of, it is a lot of work. As much as it's fun, it is a lot of work to do a podcast. And if you're new to podcasting and you haven't even started yet, don't be, don't be scared. It is a lot of work, but it's very rewarding. And the one thing I don't hear often enough is someone super thrilled and excited about podcasting. And I think we all need like an an adrenaline shot from another podcaster to hear the excitement in their voice around podcasting, around their show, around growing as a podcaster. All of the things, right? All of the things that we need to to hear. Imagine all that in one message. And I had the joy of being on Scarlet Classics podcast recently and having her here on the How to Podcast as well, a listener of the show who created their own, her own podcast. And I'd love for you to go over and support her in her and her new podcast. But she left me two messages back to back on SpeakPipe. Uh, which is on my howtopodcast.ca website. You can go there and you can do the same thing Scarlett did. And I love it when people do this. And it makes me want to jump on and share the message with you so that you hear what I'm hearing in real time and leverage this daily day format where I can just jump on and create something in the moment outside of the numbered episodes. Because, hey, anything that encourages you to continue as a podcaster, to continue podcasting, to start your show. I just think we need to hear a happy voice in podcasting to go, okay, yep, that's right. I'm happy. I'm excited. I've been doing this for a long time. I've, or I've never released an episode yet. I'm still new. I want you to hear the joy and the realization that this person, Scarlett, is making progress that podcasting is becoming more and more fun. And to hear somebody realize, identify, and move to the next level as a podcaster with only a handful of episodes, the excitement is palatable. It's amazing because you could just feel it as Scarlett left this message. So I want to share with you, again, I want you to hear the joy in Scarlett's voice as she leaves this message for us here on the How to Podcast series, The Daily Dave. Here's Scarlett's messages combined together. I want you to pick up on the joy. I want this to give you a smile on your face today. Okay? This is meant for you to encourage you in your podcast. Here's Scarlett's message. Hi, Dave. It's Scarlet Classic here. I finished editing our episode that we did together on Sunday, and it was just like, I just, I don't, it it just turned out so good. I'm so excited for it to go live. I've just got, (laughs) and yeah, so anyways. As I said, my name is Scarlett. For for all you listeners that don't know who I am, <laughs> I have a little baby podcast right now. I just started. It's five episodes. Well, the fifth episode that I just did with Day One Sunday will go live on Wednesday. Woohoo! And it's I just I've fallen in love with podcasting. It is so great. And if you are listening and you haven't started a podcast yet, ah just do it but be prepared it is like really addictive and like the idea is just like i it just keeps coming and there's just so many (laughs) it's so awesome i just i love it i'm in love with podcasting i'm hooked now i'm hooked this is my new hobby (laughs) so my podcast is called classic advice and i basically just talk about a lot of life experiences and lessons that i have learned to pass them on to you guys because I, I've gone through a lot of trauma in my life. I've conquered depression, anxiety, PTSD, all that fun stuff. And I went through a lot of that stuff alone. And I feel like no one should have to go through that alone. And I want to help the person behind me to not have quite as hard a time as I did in the past. So 
that's kind of the whole reason behind it. And if even if I just help one person, that that is my goal. You know, just just one. That would be that would be so fulfilling and it's it's so rewarding. The podcast is even helping me because it's making me so more self-aware of of my own habits and what makes you different, Dave, is your willingness and your just availability to have that one-on-one time with people, I think just sets you apart from everybody else. And I would hate, like, there's only so many hours in the day. I would hate for that to take away from your one-on-one coaching time and all of that. So that's just my two cents. I, I wouldn't want it to take away from that. So, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's my two cents. And I just want to say thank you so much again for everything that you do because it's it, it's just you have changed my life for the better and it's just phenomenal like I I you're an amazing person and I'm just so thankful that you're in my life now it, my life is richer because you're in it and I just want you to know that so I'm approaching on five minutes so I'm gonna sign off and have an awesome night Dave And I can't wait till we do another episode together. (laughs) So have a great day, everyone. And go podcast. Go do it. Start. Push record. You can do it. All right. Bye. (laughs) Hi, Dave. It's me again. (laughs) I'm just flooding your inbox tonight. (laughs) Uh, Sorry. Blowing up your inbox. (laughs) Uh, Sorry. Not sorry. So I finished editing the podcast that we did on Sunday. And it was just like... I just wanted to tell you that when we did that, I, so I, I edited, I did the thing, I put the puzzle pieces together, like you said, and I listened to it. I listened to our podcast like two or th- two, like twice at work and then again on the way home from work because it just like, I could not stop smiling. I felt like it was such a great conversation. I took away a lot from what you had said and the value that you had brought and it was just like something just clicked for me when we were recording and I feel like I I found my voice I found my groove and then I got thinking and I was like I'm an overthinker so my husband told me I was just overthinking this but I just wanted to throw it out there in case you were feeling the same way but I just you you helped me huge like I don't know what it what it was that made it click for me but it just clicked and on the way home uh actually we were in the grocery store not on the way home I was just talking with my kids about my podcast and I was like hey do you guys want to be on my podcast like to Levi and Riley and they both were like yeah we want to be on your podcast. And so we got home. I got them to listen to the episode that we did together. So they kind of had an idea of, you know, how you, you know, don't talk over the other person and, and listen to, to listen to the other person, not listen to reply and, and, and all that stuff. And, we got home and and because Levi's like, well, I don't know much about relationships and and all that, and I was like, it doesn't have to be about that. It can be about parenting because that's what me and Dave talked about. And he's like, oh, okay. And so I was like, we we went through a couple of different things that we were going to talk about, and Levi actually he knocked on the door when I was leaving you the message for the other uh, question to your answer or whatever, and he's like, are we recording yet? Are we going to record tonight? And I was like, oh, well, you guys want to have a movie night. So we got it all lined up about what we're going to talk about. And we kind of did like a little practice one. And I was like, we'll record tomorrow. But they're so excited for it. And I was like, oh, this is going to be like another little like, you know how you do like series in your podcast? And I'm going to call it like feedback from kids, you know, about parenting. Because as parents, maybe we don't really think about asking our kids about, Hey, what do you think about when I do this? What do you think about when I give you chores? What do you think about when I, uh, what have you, you know? And so, yeah, I'm really excited for that. And I'm just like, ah, I'm on such a high right now. Like, it's just like, ah, I'm, I'm in love with podcasting. It's just like, I, I'm hooked and I'm blaming you. (laughs) 
<laughs> in a positive way, in a positive way. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. If you did want to re-record uh, that episode that we did, because I noticed you hadn't posted it yet, so I was like, oh, maybe we should just redo it. I'm fine with that. But if not, whatever. If you think it's good, then I completely trust your judgment. I, I, I yeah, because you know what you're doing. And, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about this whole journey and I couldn't be happier right now and I wanted to share that with you and thank you because you're a big part of of all of this and I just wanted to thank you so thank you and I can't wait to have you back on my show and after I get 10 episodes I'm gonna come back on your show if you'll let me (laughs) okay I'm approaching five minutes bye have a great night so in that message from Scarlett, Scarlett, again, thank you so much for encouraging me. I played it for my wife, Jen, and she smiled and made her happy as well. But listening to this, for you listening right now, you just got a master class from Scarlett about overthinking, about trying new things, about interviewing, about not talking over your guest. Don't listen to respond. Involving your kids in podcasting, the joy of podcasting, being hooked to it now to get beyond yourself, get beyond all of the limitations that you put on yourself as a podcaster. You just, in her voice, you can hear her move through all of those different things. And here she is, a podcaster. Isn't that exciting? So, Scarlett, again, thank you so much for leaving me a message. Thank you so much for for reaching out and encouraging me as a podcaster and encouraging all of us. I hope you listening hear that joy in her voice. And if you're struggling for joy in your podcast, if you're feeling a little overwhelmed, how to podcast.ca. We can do this together, you and I. We can do this. We can get you to the point where that's how you're going to sound like you heard Scarlett in her voice. So excited to podcast. So excited to get on the mic. Get beyond yourself. We can do this together, you and I. Let's do this. Let's get your show on. Let's get you out there podcasting and get you to the point where you feel as comfortable and happy as a podcaster as you hear in Scarlett's voice. How to podcast.ca. Scarlett, thank you so much. We'll have links to Scarlett's podcast in the sh- in the show notes. So you can go and check it out and you can hear me go over there on her show and talk about something that's really not even podcast related at all so if you want another side of dave as if you have not enough dave in your life head over to scarlet's podcast and you can hear our conversation over there and as well scarlet was on the out of podcast series make sure you listen to that episode really exciting to connect with listeners turned into podcasters who are doing great things in podcasting that's what this show is all about that's what it's all about and it's such a privilege to have interaction with you. So I'm looking to speak to you. We haven't talked yet, you and I. Some of you have been listening for over a year and we haven't even spoken yet. I'm looking to talk to you. How to podcast.ca, speak pipe, leave me a voice message, or jump in my calendar. Let's get together and, and meet in person, virtually. I guess that's a thing. And let's do that because I'd love to meet you. So how to podcast.ca, Scarlett, thank you so much for the great messages makes me so happy. Thank you. Catch you on the next one, everyone.